Takeaway Diao or noodle soup, a staple of Thai cuisine and a dish that I personally cannot live without. Today, I want to give you six of my absolute favorites for you to try on your next trip to Bangkok. Let's go. So this is a Ban Nam Wan. She's been here for 40 years in the same spot down at Talat Plu. So we've got, we've got some homemade pork soup, fried tofu. So this is for the yen tofu and that's a winter melon. All right. And then we've got all the goodies, right? So we've got, we've got some, any more, any more, any, 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 any pork. Stewed pork, sliced pork, any pa fish balls, any pet, looking pet, more, more pasom, bang, bang, uh. so flour mixed with pork, uh. cat is a uh, hokkien, any pa, pa, her kwe, her kwe, okay, carb, and then, any kung, so we've got prawn, prawn balls as well, guys. But the the, the, re, the thing that I'm very impressed with. So the. I need the Okay, pamok dong. So pickled squid. We won't be eating that. But the uh, the blood. Tam eng, tam eng, tam eng. Pong eng, pong eng. Okay. And then we've got more sap. And and then we've got gatiam jiao. Gatiam jiao. อันนี้อร่อยอร่อยอร่อยนะครบมากครบมากอร่อยอันนี้หมูกรอบหมูหมูหมูเชียงไฮกาหมูกาหมูโอเคครับหมูจะสปอร์ตสกินฟรายสป
pig powder roasted chili paste. Right, I'm going to get straight into this. I'm going to get a little bit of everything on my spoon, try and get some pork, try and get a bit of the cut mortar, the pork uh, skin. Yeah, let's go. There is a lot going on here, guys. I think I've ordered well um, because everything in this bowl I like. So you've got the stewed pork, which is lean, the, the sliced stewed pork, then you've also got the mun, the one with the heavy amount of fat in it. So that's light, rich, giving you a nice, nice flavour. You've got the crispy, crunchy pork, and the reason I get, or the reason I love these little rice noodles so much, these chem e noodles so much is that every single spoonful you get, because they're so small, you're getting noodle, you're getting pork, you're getting the crispy pork, you're getting some of the bean sprouts, you're getting some of the spring onion and cilantro, you're getting everything. Loads and loads of crispy garlic. Mm. Permeating all through the soup. The actual stock itself, unbelievable. Not a bit of powder in sight here, all pure pork bone goodness. Then you've got that slightly sweet, which is why I said no sugar at all, because I don't want any sugar in this. A little bit sweet, spicy, garlicky, peanutty, pit pal chili paste. And that's what is giving us the unbelievable colour. You've got the sourness coming through mm, from the pit nam som, the chili vinegar that she put in. This is one of the most unique soups I've had in Thailand. I haven't had a soup exactly the same as this. This is a hybrid between your tom yum. So people get confused, you get tom yum, which is the soup that you associate with tom yum in the West, which is that creamy, it doesn't always have to be, but that creamy prawn with the lemongrass, the galangal, the bits in. And then you've got kwe tiao tom yum, which is just a spicy, sour noodle soup. I'll link to some other videos so you know exactly what I'm talking about. This is like a hybrid between the two. So this is the noodle soup version, but it's also got the pick pal chili paste. Do you know what? I was just about to give this over to Connor, but I've got to have one more bite of the cup mortar pork skin. Amazing. So this is your chili oil. This is your chili vinegar. Uh, Pik Nam Som, so distilled white vinegar and Pekinu chilies, he's saying. Um, and that's just going to add a bit more sourness, a bit more spiciness to the dish. It's sharp. Really sour. Really sour. You've got to mix that in, mate. Connor's just gone straight on with the... Uh, just basically just got a scoop of uh, vinegar. I would eat that, though, the vinegar. Oh, the sour makes it amazing. It's actually better than it was before. Oh, it's amazing, man. You really taste the peanut. Like Connor just said, there's so much peanut in this, and it's where she's ground the peanut so fine, so like a powder, it's gone all through the soup. And then there's also peanuts in that particular brand of chili paste as well, so it's peanutty. Now it's really sour, salty, spicy, everything you are looking for from a Thai soup. Kopong kap, aloy ma. อร่อยมากอร่อยมาหลังมาเตี้ยไทยแลนด์มาอุดหนุนนะคะครับอร่อยที่สุดอร่อยที่สุดในกรุงเทพในกรุงเทพในกรุงเทพเหรอใช่
they've got the cooking liquor from the wedge up noodles which are tapioca and rice flour so it's really starchy and really thick and that's what thickens up the soup all right so we've got 45 55 55 60 so i'm gonna get the big bowl Ah, yes, so here's the noodles. So they're Kaupiak. Kaupiak Sen. Bangkan, Bangkan. Bangkan. Saigon. Gin Bangkan. So she gets the noodles out first with some of that starchy water and adds the bachon with a little bit of that cooking water as well. So that's going to be full of flavor. Very simply topped off with these fried ingredients, the fresh herbs, a little bit of white pepper. Perfect. Okay guys, this looks absolutely incredible. You're not gonna find this version in too many other places. I've never seen it before. Usually it comes with pork meatballs, sikrong mo, which is pork ribs, and mo ya, which is a Vietnamese pork sausage, which I'll show you in a sec. So you've got firm, meaty, bachon, snakehead fish in this thick chicken bone soup. And that's been thickened up with the flour that's come off of these tapioca and rice flour noodles. And that's, as I said, just been seasoned with white pepper. Gatiam jiao, hom jiao. Perfect. Right, I'm going to try it with nothing in. Rich, peppery, thick soup. As always, really the main flavour is coming from the fried onions. I do like my broths more on the thick side. Some are thin, some are thick, just depending on how much of the starchy water they use. Mm. It's unique in the fact that it's not pork and you can actually taste the chicken stock. And also you can taste the fish as well. You can taste that fresh fish because she's used some of the cooking liquor from the fish in the soup as well this is good what I do want to do though is add a few bits and pieces off of the table and here is another treat for me we've got limes instead of vinegar all right so usually you'll get vinegar you'll get chili vinegar to put in this pick nam som but here proper Vietnamese style we've got some limes so I'm actually going to use all of these limes because I like mine sour and I'm going to get carried away because you don't usually get limes especially in Bangkok see a lot of people think especially when you eat Thai food in the West, which seems to always come with limes. The lime's really common, but it's not common in Bangkok at all. Usually you'd use, your sarin agent would be vinegar. All right, we're also going to be getting some of this uh, Galian mountain chili. So that's what I'm going to call it anyway, because that's what we call it when we eat khao sui. Right, a couple of spoonfuls of that. We might add some fish sauce in a minute, although this is very, very well seasoned as it is. So I don't think we're going to need it. Let's give that a mix up. Oh no, look at the colour of that, guys. That's what we came for, isn't it? That's what we came for. All right, I'm going to try, I'll get some of the noodles, and get some of the fish. I don't think anyone, is anyone eating with chopsticks? No one's eating with chopsticks, so I'm just going to eat it with fork. So I'm going to get some of the fish. I'm going to get some of the noodles on my spoon. Some of that soup. Right, the lime, the fresh lime, and that smoky roasted chili oil has just taken it up another level. The fish, I was, um, I'm always a little bit skeptical when I'm eating bachon. Um, if you haven't had it before, it's a fresh water fish, so it can taste a bit muddy. Mm. But this has been cleaned to perfection. There's something really comforting about this thick soup. It's not quite on the level of our radna, so don't be put off. It's not like that snotty consistency that people keep finding so off-putting when I put it in the videos. But 
there's something really, really warm and comforting about this dish. The Vietnamese version of this dish is called Ban Can, if I'm saying that correctly. And I just had it when I was in Vietnam last week with Max McFarlane. So it's fresh in my mind. It is slightly different, but it's the closest thing that you can get to these noodles. And they usually would have that. There's a few different versions, but we got the crab version. So crab, fish balls, prawns. There's a lot of seafood. And with the fish here, this is definitely the most reminiscent version of that I've had in Thailand. This is also called Khao Piak Sen. If you're up in Lao, over in Lao, I should say, or up in the northeast in Isan, you can also call this Khao Piak Sen, which translates to fresh, wet noodle. As I said, the fish, perfect, flaky, meaty, not overcooked in any way, shape or form. I like the freshness coming from the spring onions, the ton hom, the pak chi and the pak chi falang, which is coriander and sawtooth coriander, as I keep forgetting. And again, something really, really comforting about those chewy, soft tapioca noodles. Right, this is easily the best version of this I've had. And I eat this a lot, actually. This is one of my favorite soups. Um, sometimes it can be a bit over the top. Sometimes it's absolutely leathered in MSG, which I like MSG, but sometimes Gue Jab Yuen can be a little bit over salty. Um, this is perfect, perfectly seasoned, perfectly spiced. Love the fresh fish, love the chicken soup. Um, and Ba Sa Jai has been open now for 30 years. Eat a bowl of this soup, it's easy to see why. We're tucked in a little corner, as I said, just by the market. So this is actually the fourth time I've been here. It's the first time it's ever been open because I'm usually up too late. You've got to get here early doors. They open at six, shut about half eight, nine. They're going to run out pretty quick but yeah really really cool place lovely lovely people as always it's a family affair so you've got Ba Sajai her husband her son Job his son his brother um, all working the family stall so yeah really really enjoyed this one guys I think you should get down here for sure stick it on your list I will stick a Google map link in the description of this place because this is a one-off It could be your first time to try Guetiao Rua. And I thought, what better place to bring you to try a delicious bowl of these blood noodles than right on the canal at Ban Suan Ingnam in Nonsaburi. It's a world away from being in Bangkok. We're in a district called Nonsaburi, which is just north of Bangkok. There's loads of these old sort of farm lands around the canals. And it's just set on like a lush sort of green garden, um, hence the name I guess. Ban Suan means garden house? Garden house by the river, I guess? Garden house? Ing, I'm not sure what Ing means, but now it means water, so it's garden house by the water, and that's exactly what this is. So you're sitting, as I said, on the canal front, right? It's an open restaurant. Everyone's sitting on the floor. <laughs> you're just sitting underneath tables, and everyone's just sitting on mats, and it's all open air, so you can actually, you're actually basically level with the canal. So you can see all the houses on the other side of the canal. Yeah, it's a canal. It's a canal, but it's, a, it's quite a wide canal. <laughs> it's the table, so we're literally just, we're literally just sitting right under the table. And so if you're not familiar with boat noodles, Kui Tiao Rua or Kui Tiao Nam Tok, it's noodle soup thickened with pork blood, okay? And that sounds, I know it's gonna be hard for people to get their heads around, um, some people, but let's take a look at the boat noodles. So we've got more ton, which is stewed pork, and literally that's just fallen off the bone with a plastic spoon. Luk uh, tin, pork balls, tap uh, more. Tap is uh, liver. I really do like liver in boat noodles. And I've got these with, one with sen yai noodles, I ordered two bowls, and the other bowl I've got with classic sen lek noodles. Let's have a look. Yeah, so you've got those You've got like a clump of noodles and then at the bottom you've just got a little bit of sauce and this harks back to what I was saying earlier. It's just a little bit of soup. That soup has to be really intense because you only get a small amount of it. So you end up with much more flavor. So we've got chili vinegar, sugar, roasted uh, dry chili and fish sauce. All right, so even though I did ask for it spicy, I haven't given it to be very spicy. So we're gonna put some of this roasted chili in there. And then also the Picnam Som, the pounded chili, but this is actually usually green in boat noodle shops, so red one's a little bit different. Yes, 
just going to give that a little mix up. Get it all the noodles coated. See, like, look at that. You, you wouldn't actually notice there was blood in that, would you, if, if I hadn't told you? Oh, do you know what? I'm going to try this pork first without anything. That is a literal, literal melt in your mouth. The sauce, say sauce, it's a soup, but it's quite thick, so I'm saying sauce. Very, very rich. Quite sweet. They're always quite sweet, but it's not like, it's more like a, you know, like a palm sugar or rock sugar kind of sweetness. It's not like a, it's like a quite rounded, like thick sweetness, if that makes any sense. Right, I'm gonna try all the meat actually. So, more chin, just sliced uh, fresh pork, all right? So the, the, the more chin, the sliced pork, Very, very soft, very, very tender. That's important. They've just literally just marinated that and then just dunked it into the, the, the hot broth uh, to cook it for a couple of seconds. And now let's try a bit of that liver. Same with the liver. Very, very soft, very, very tender, very well cooked. This is a very good bowl of soup. It is quite spicy, actually. And you need that vinegar to cut the, cut the soup because it's very rich, it's quite sweet. You need that little hit of sour. Then you get the Thai basil, a bean sprouts just to bring a little bit of freshness. It's good. See, senyaya, my senyaya means wide rice noodle. They're my noodle of choice for beef noodles. For pork, I actually prefer either senlek or senbami, so I'm not sure why I ordered them. I don't actually remember ordering them, so maybe they just gave them to me. Oh, Woon Sen's lovely as well. All right, guys, so this is one of my favorite soups in Bangkok, and I'm telling you now, this is, I'd say, easily the best place I've ever eaten it. It's not a super common soup. Um, it's called Gwe Jab Nam Kwan. So Gwe Jab is usually peppery. This has like a five spicy kind of broth, a la Khao Khao Mu kind of things. So it's like a Chinese herbal broth. You said before it tasted like Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I think it does taste something like Dr. Pepper. Uh, we've got some boiled egg in there. Uh, usually it would come with all the liver, all the intestines, but if you don't want that, like Paddy didn't want that, because I want to start him off with a beginner version. Mayao Kreang Nai. So probably the most interesting thing for me is uh, this puffed up tofu. So it's like deep fried puffed up tofu and it acts like a sponge. It kind of like soaks up all the flavors from the broth. You've got these little rolled rice noodles and they give you off like a bit of starch and she uses a bit of starch to thicken up the noodles. And then the test of any mulgrob crispy pork is, does it stay crispy in the soup? It does. This is real, authentic Thai food. A stone's throw from my icon, Siam. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. It's got that aniseed. Yeah, the star anise cut. Almost like a medicine. But it's not overpowering, don't worry, don't worry. Gary, that's absolutely unreal. Let me just quickly try it with a little bit of this um, slightly fermented chili sauce. Mm. Unbelievable. There's a sweetness to it, plus because there's cinnamon in it, it accentuates the sweetness. Do you know if you have cinnamon in something, it's, your mouth thinks it's something like 16 times sweeter than it actually is. Scientifically, I don't know if it's 16 times, but... I heard it was 17.5 times. That's what I thought as well, actually. Such a deep flavour. It's actually cooked it. The soup, the stock is actually cooked with all the hot balls, so you're actually getting a little bit of hot taste, but it's not like overpowering, don't worry. I'm not really in the mood for rice, but I'll have a little bit. Yeah, put the gravy on. Mmm. The food in the food court, the Icon Siam looked amazing, but it didn't look, didn't look it did not look this good. Sorry, I can't speak because this is so delicious. Ten out of ten. I have been coming to Jeju for seven years. This is an absolute rock star. I like it. Rock and roll! Rock and roll, rock and rock and roll baby! <laughs> Uh, 
อร่อยอร่อยสีสุดนะคะอ๋อยูอร่อยสีสุดโอเคครับครับใช่ครับ Right Gary where have you brought me to eat today All right so today guys I brought Joe with down to a super famous chicken noodle soup shop called Quit the Old Guy นะสวย This is my friend Ben Ben สวัสดีครับ She is gonna run us through this chicken noodle buffer. You can literally eat as much as you want. Not sure we're even gonna make it through a bowl, but we're gonna give it a good go. I think this is gonna be an absolute banger. Let's go. So you get the base noodles, and then you get to load it up with the buffet of exactly what you want. She's doing it proper. Yum, ma. Yum. Any key, ba na? Okay. So, wun sen. Right. So I'm going with wun sen, which are the glass noodles, mung bean flour. We've got some pak bung. Kana, okay. Galam. So actually, sorry, I got it wrong. So we've got some Chinese kale and some galam, which is just cabbage. Chicken soup. So we got our wun sen in there, guys. And have a lovely bit of broth. That's what we came for. Oh, the smell is unreal, guys. Chicken leg as well. So this is what you get: is your base bowl of noodles, which is already huge. The noodles, the broth, the veg, and the chicken leg. And we went for p s e t so we went for the large, but that just gave us an extra chicken leg. We didn't realize. We thought the size bowl was 80 baht. This is 50 if you don't get the leg, right? That is ridiculous. And then, would you say insane value? Insane value. And then the best part is, as we said, you get to style it and pimp it the way you want. That's why this place is so popular. Okay, I love, love chicken feet. So definitely, just pile it up. It's good. Good, no? Oh, it's good. good. And what is this? Ah, uh, kai sap. Like a kind of sap is kai sap. Ah, kai sap. So mince. This is kadok, too, right? This is. And this tap. Ah, it's like offal. Ah, tap. Ah, stomach. Yeah. Stomach? Yeah. No, no, just awful. Yeah. <laughs> Chop awful. Right. What else should we have? Oh, we need some of these knuckles. Yeah, get, the, get everything. A little bit of knuckles. Everything. Just not the well, twang. Basically, not everything I don't eat, so it's impossible to get everything else. Not twang. Oh. Right. This is. What is this? It's winter melon. Winter melon. I mean, the bowl is pretty hot. All right. I'm taking over, guys. I'm gonna get a load of hola pa and some bean sprouts, wing tips. Oh, not bean sprouts. Oh. No. Oh, now come on. So you don't eat bean sprouts, but I eat chicken wing eat tips. Chicken wing tips. <laughs> wing tips are good, but I'm gonna get a few of them in there. And it has to be adorned with the final spoon. Of blood, chicken blood cake. What's it called in Thai? Luan. Delicious. Look, <laughs> just look at that. Well, we're gonna need 80 baht. Joke. Anyway, how have I ended up the cameraman on my own video? <laughs> When there's a bowl this good, I'm jumping front of queue. But very airy, pretty cool, and we've got our condiments here on the table. How? How did I miss this station? All right, this is my domain, mate. Take over, man. Take over. Nice. All right, guys. As if I was going to let you season my noodles, so. Now the, the reason the reason we're not getting the bowl each is one, it's absolutely massive, and two, we just ate a whole roast chicken. Hello, mate. Very good. Very good. Very, very, very good. I think you're going to know what I'm going to say, though. As being like, with the alkai is typically a little bit sweet, and it's got that 
It's got those uh, Chinese spices in which sort of accentuates the sweetness. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of this Pik Nam Som chili garlic vinegar. It's a big bowl, so I'm probably just going to I'm going to hit I'm going to hit us with two scoops of that because I just saw her do that as well. And then Pik Kua. Let's get some forks, get some spoons, try and find our tripod. I think that lady walked off with it a minute ago. And uh, we're right. All right, I just sat down, guys. I cannot wait for this. It smells absolutely incredible. Guys, we don't need to waste too much time because you know what we've ordered, but I'm going to show you this. Let's, let's get a little bit of the broth just to show you what we're working with. This is classic, dark, sweet, quid the old guy. You saw the soup in the pot. It looks absolutely incredible. This is definitely not a gimmick, guys. And now it's blood red from that dried kua pan-roasted chili. This is why I've gone with Wu Sen, this squidgy, gelatinous up. and absolutely delicious. And, they, and you see how coated they are with that sauce. Everything just kind of sticks to them. Yeah, That's what I love. What I'm really the most interested in is this chicken leg, this whole non guy. And I feel like this is just going to pull straight off the bone. Oh man, I barely need any effort at all. Look at that. Juicy, moist. Oh, amazing. It's just as juicy as the chicken leg. Just look how soft and gelatinous those feet are. It looks like a dead man from where I'm so Looks like someone's just been hit by a car I, from where I'm standing. I can't resist. I cannot resist. Looks like a dead. Mm. Oh, man. You got issues, mate. <laughs> just suck the gelatinous. You have to just suck the gelatinous skin and fat. Oh, of those feet and those toes. Spit the bones out into your spoon and get them in the, the bone mold. With the old guy, Nasoy is really, really famous at the moment. And we've seen a lot of YouTubers coming down here, a lot of Thai YouTubers coming down here. And we thought it was going to be a little bit gimmicky, didn't we? Sure. But having seen the uh, work that goes into the bowl, the fact that they used every single cut, right? Nothing's wasted. And actually the broth and the chicken leg, they come from different pots. So I love it when yeah. they cook things individually because you know they're caring for yeah, that specific exactly. component. The flavor of that broth with those mung bean noodles, it's pretty damn good. Yeah, isn't it? You've got sweet, spicy, real chickeny flavor because they've obviously sure. they've obviously cooked all this stuff down, haven't they, and added it to the different broths. And when you're cooking with bones and offal and wing tips, there's so much flavor so in that. Flavor. And there's so much gelatin in that, that the stock and the broth has that depth of flavor with those spices. Bang on. And you don't get much more like skin to bone ratio as a foot. I'm winding Joe up about eating the chicken feet. I don't particularly like chewing on them, um, but I do like sucking a little bit uh, of the toe. <laughs> and um, all joking aside, they are absolutely incredible to make stock with because it's just oh, so yeah. gelatinous. Um, this is- But it is literally fall off the, yeah. fall off the bone, right? I mean that- Mm. Look at that, I don't even know what that is. And they give you a bowl to put those bones in. Ah! I actually cannot believe there is all this, that amount of meat that you're allowed to just take. Like 85 baht. But a lot, of this, right? a lot of shops are just gonna, a lot of shops are just gonna be wasting a lot of that. You know all the, sure. all the, all the, all the ah, she's smart. wing tips and no, stuff like that? Because low cost for her, super tasty, super delicious. Mm. We feel that it's good value. Come on. And everyone else, that, that, what a last woman seems to like. <laughs> She's not anyway. making any money on that one. <laughs> yeah, mate, she, ain't, she ain't said a word for about an hour. You're slowly making her way through a mountain of food. It's literally, literally. Oh, look at that. I want to show you the shredded <coughs> chicken breast as well. This is another reason to love this place. I've just taken a mouthful of this and it's super, super soft and super, super tender. Now, ch chicken breast is so easy to dry out, especially in soup. No, no, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Don't move. Go. Oh yeah, super juicy, super moist. Actually, with that chili that we've added, nice spicy kick too. You're right, chicken breast, I normally avoid it because it's normally so dry. Not a bit of it in this one. Yeah, very Moorish. Even, even the bean sprouts are quite good with it. 
Okay, I'm not afraid to admit that with the plastic chopsticks and even the metal chopsticks, I'm an oh, absolute even worse. The metal ones are even amateur. worse. And I'll be there for minutes and minutes and minutes. And then I realised everyone does takeaway. They have the wooden chopsticks for takeaway. Ask for them. And before Make you sure. start, anyone starts talking about wastage, oh, takeaway, takeaway, takeaway. We take these home with us and I reuse these at home, okay? So, yeah, me too. So much easier with these chopsticks, Joe. Thank you. So look, as I said, I don't really like chewing these, but so much flavor if you just suck them. I don't know how we're gonna get through all this, Joe. There's a lot in there. Wing tips. I wanna get some of this chicken breast at the bottom with that jalapada aniseedy basil. So much flavor, so fresh. I'm also chewing a chicken knuckle which is interesting. Lots of flavour. I'm going to spit that back out into the bowl though. Alloy. So straight away this is my kind of place. I'm told it is 68 years old. Nip is third generation taking over the shop from his parents and their parents and Guys, it looks like it hasn't changed much in the last 68 years, and I don't mean that as a as a put down. This is exactly the kind of place I like to eat. All open, silver tables, no frills, all about the food. It's absolutely packed pretty much every single day. There's a nice steady stream of customers in here today. Come down here on Saturdays and Sundays, forget about it. It's really, really busy. You've got all the pictures of all the celebrities that they've had here. I would recommend it for the uh, stew beef and uh, the tenderloin, which I told you is, is called Kobe beef. And yeah. one of is a beef chunk, is the uh, back legs of the beef. Right, so we've got beef shank, we've got Kobe beef, stewed beef in a moor, which is like a silver aluminium pot that you'd get a boon sen in. All right, so this is the special, and look at the color of this soup. So we've got back leg shank, the shin, we've got some Kobe beef. Is this Thai? Thai, Thai though, Thai beef. Yes, Thai beef, yes. So this is Thai tenderloin. And this is just a soup with bean sprouts. So this is cow lao, so we would have this with rice. This looks unreal. All right, so this is the normal bowl of noodles. We've got three bowls of these with everything barring look tin, which are beef balls. We've got stewed beef, no boy. And then we've got some in some tendon, which I absolutely love. Some fresh beef, some nurse sod, some tap, which is beef liver. And we've also got some heart in there somewhere. And we've got these with sen yai, which are wide rice noodles. The same set with sen mi, but this actually does have the lok chin, which are the beef balls. And then last but not least, my personal favorite, probably the sen lek, so just thin rice noodles. Oh, I just can't get over the, the look of this stewed beef. We've got some Chinese celery on top. We've got some lettuce. Oh, and look at the color of this soup. Look how dark and rich that is. This looks like absolute heaven. All right, so I'm just gonna try the soup just by itself. Very, very excited. I mean, there's beef noodle soup and then there's this place, basically. It's as deep and as rich as it looks. Quite heavy on the soy sauce you got. It's a little bit sweet from a little bit of palm sugar they got in here, but they all they put in some of the pick dong, the the fermented chili actually into every bowl. So it's already quite sour. But as you know, I like mine very salty and very sour. So I'm gonna add a little bit. That's it. Now it's super sour, very, very spicy, very, very well, well balanced. You've got sweet, you've got spicy, you've got sour, you got salty, you got every flavor you're really looking for from a beef noodle soup. All right, get some tendon, get some stewed beef, get some noodles, and let's go.
I'm gonna have to get some more shrewd beef by itself because that is soft, but the flavor from that tendon, and don't let this put you off, I'm saying tendon, it doesn't sound great, does it? But it's been stewed down for hours, so it's gelatinous. It's got the kind of texture of a wine gum in England. It's like a little kid sweet that tastes like your delicious beef. Mm. Liver cooked to absolute perfection. Everything they're doing in here, he's he's got the liver fresh, he's got the nurse sod, which is just like the sliced beef, and the shank off the back leg. And all he's doing is literally putting it in a a little noodle basket and then pouring on a little bit of the hot liquid dunking it for two seconds cooked so it's literally cooked just through then it's left in that hot liquid and it is just soft and cooked to perfection then you've got this stewed beef it's like a melt in your mouth piece of salt beef brisket back in england absolutely incredible all right next up i'm going to try the the house special so this is the soup we've got that very thinly sliced shin and usually I would I would always chew shin um, mm. but again that's amazingly tender because he's sliced it so thinly and just cooked it for a couple of seconds yeah shin's one of those cuts you either cook it for two seconds or two hours nothing in between this soup, I, I, I'm not sure I might even prefer this soup. Full of flavour. And that both, both types of beef are just super, super tender. And then I love the fact it's on a bed of fresh, just blanched, crunchy bean sprouts as well. You've got the Chinese celery, which I love. I haven't actually added anything to this. This is just perfect. Absolutely perfect. I, it's, if you had, if you needed to draw a picture in a dictionary next to the word beef, this is what I'd draw. Just pure beef. Oh wow. That soup has so much flavor. I noticed it straight away, like so much flavor from the soup. The beef is delicious. It's all more tender than I expected. I've had like, some chewy beef here <laughs> in Thailand, you know. Nice. You wanna try that? Oh, you said you liked. Yeah. You said you liked uh, the fresh stuff, right? Like mm. the rare stuff. Rare, yeah. Maybe this isn't. I mean, it's been sitting there for like five minutes now. Maybe it's not That's too rare. Now, but... Good. Good, right? So good. Crazy, right? Because that's shin, and so even, that's usually tough. And even from sitting there, like you said, it's been sitting there for a few minutes, and even though it's been sitting there, it's still unbelievably tender. Is that the one you put this in? No, I haven't stuck anything in this one. Okay. This is just how it came. Good, right? Yeah, I feel like this soup's got a slightly different flavor. I feel like this so is good. like a little bit like deeper flavor, and it's a little bit sweeter as well, I thought. Mm. But yeah, 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 very good. Yeah, I definitely noticed that. What about you, Mr. Axis Deco man? The fillet inside, the, sorry, the, the beef inside this is like fillet steak. I mean, it's so soft, it melts in your mouth. And as you say, in Thailand, you don't normally get beef like that. Normally it's a bit chewy, but it's absolutely amazing. Beautiful dish, stunning. All right, Adam's gonna try this. Uh, he said he likes rare beef and we left it sitting there for too long. Oh, yeah, I like to chase it through a field and then get it straight away. <laughs> yeah. Man, they're good, Jed. Come on, James, get a bit of this. I'm having all of it, sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. Wow. Spot on. Mm. Yeah, I like it. It's still mooing. 